Uh, Representative Emmer, do you expect to introduce any abortion-related bills during your tenure if you are uh, elected governor? You know what, uh, Kathy, we had this conversation when I was here back in August. I have a very clear position uh, on these issues. You endorse uh, for the MCCL. Sure, but my campaign is all about getting government back and proper... I understand that, but there are people who vote on abortion issues. Well, that's they, great. They go and they, and they are supportive. They want to know who they're voting for. That's great. And like I said, I've got a history. I've got a record on those issues. It's clear. But this campaign is about the economy and jobs. That's what we have to do for the state of Minnesota going forward. And I'm going to stick to it. So are you saying this is not an important issue then? I'm sure it's important to many people. Because you uh, co-sponsored five anti-abortion related bills last session. It, it's so it must very, be important to you. It's, it's important to many people. But again, this is about the economy and jobs. We've got to get people and in working together in the state of Minnesota. 28 other debates, we talked about the economy and jobs. We're asking about social issues. Right. So the last, I'm going to ask you this one more time. Do you expect to introduce any Here, abortion related bills during your tenure? Yeah, here's the thing. Let's stick to the issues that unify us. This is an issue I, that divides us. You know, I think it's I time that, that we be unified. And the one thing that's going to unify us is getting our economy moving again, getting Minnesota Minnesotans good quality jobs and getting them working again. Okay. Yeah, let's so stick with that. So you're not going to go answer the question. 